Welcome back to my channel. Today we are discussing about one of my favorite houses in the natal chart, the 10th house, obviously, and uh, the reason why it's one of my favorites is uh, because I've got my moon in Capricorn and in the natural zodiac, so not in your natal chart, but in the natural zodiac, which starts from Aries and ends with Pisces, the 10th house is governed by Capricorn. And its governing planet is Saturn. Now, we all have a 10th house in our natal chart, and we might have also some planets in there. If we don't have planets in there, then we certainly have a sign on the cusp, and that is called the sign that is governing the 10th house. Now, in quadrant house systems, uh, the uh, cusp of the 10th house coincides with the midheaven. What does that all mean? First of all, if you do not know what your natal chart looks like, then you can go online and generate it for free. All you need to do is put in your date, time, and place of birth. I'm going to leave one of my favorite natal chart uh, generators in the description box down below, and you can use it at your leisure. Once you have your natal chart in front of you, look at the sign on the cusp, and also see if you've got any planets in there, because that is very important and very telling. What is the 10th house all about? The 10th house is widely known as the house of career, but it represents so much more. Now, it is associated with career to start with, so not with day-to-day -day work. The day-to-day -day work house is the 6th house. The house, the 10th house is the house of our chosen profession and uh, our um, career pathway in uh, life. It can tell the type, so the sign that is on the cusp or the planets in there can tell us something about uh, the kind of career that you are likely to go for, so even like the type of profession that you are likely to choose, but it can also tell us a lot more about your attitude towards career and work in general. Now, the 10th house is also associated with our status. It is uh, the house that is the most elevated in the natal chart, so uh, the 10th and the midheaven are at the very top of the chart, and um, that position tells us something about how seen and how visible the 10th is. So the 10th house is what people see. So all houses from the 7th till the 11th are very visible, um, which means that um, they are much more uh, played out in public life rather than in private life. The 10th house is how other people see us um, from a status point of view. It's the house of our reputation. It is a very ambitious house. It uh, represents what uh, we want to achieve in this lifetime. It is also the house of achievements, and a lot of people associate achievement with professional success. Now, the 10th house, apart from being the house of career, reputation, success, achievement, um, it is also the governor of our public life, and it directly opposes the fourth house, the fourth house, which is the governor of our private life. So, in the fourth house is where we go home, and uh, where we retreat from the world, whereas the 10th house is the house where we are in public, where we are seen, where we want to be acknowledged, and applauded, and uh, where we want to leave something behind. Now, the 10th house is very much associated with the image that we want to leave behind us um, when we are no longer here. So what do we want to be remembered for? Uh, Saturn, its association with Saturn, um, tells us something about achieving something durable and long-term, and something that will be remembered and stand, withstand the test of time. Now, the 10th house is also associated with uh, the mother. Now, why is that? Because um, the mother is usually uh, the shaping parental figure in our life, and um, the ambitions of the mother can sometimes be played out in the 10th house. And it also tells us how, what sort of image we had of our mother and what sort of boss she was in our life. Now, um, the 10th house is also associated with all authority figures in our life, and the first authority figure that we learn about um, when we are children is obviously the mum, because she has to be around us, she has to uh, uh, 
nurture us and look after us. So the moon um, is also associated with the mother, but the moon has more to do with nurturing. Uh, the 10th house has more to do with authority. Let's talk about planets. So let's say you have the sun in the 10th house. What does that mean? It means that you associate your sense of identity very, very strongly with your achievements in this world and with status and the material tangible achievements um, that you manage to leave behind. Now, whilst that is also an area in which you are very likely to shine in this lifetime and you are very likely to achieve recognition and you are very likely to be noticed and uh, remembered because uh, the sun uh, shines stronger than any other star or planet, uh, it also means that if things go wrong career-wise, um, you might feel like you're, you've been annihilated. So don't put your entire sense of self and identity into one house or into one area of your life because you're so much more than that. But people with the sun there think, or might think, and not even on a conscious level, but more on a subliminal level, that that's all there is to it and that's all they are now if you got the moon in the 10th house you might be incredibly sensitive with um when it comes to your reputation and what other people say about you and what other people think about you um it's also very possible uh that your chosen career or uh, your attitude towards work has something to do with nurturing and looking after others uh, you might be seen as a professional mother at work or you might literally look after other people. The moon governs um, food, uh, governs restaurants, so you might work in um, the uh, food um, and restaurants area. You might own your own uh, a restaurant chain. Um, but in general, you are very likely to be seen as uh, someone who's gonna listen to them by your uh, employees or by the people that you work with. So all in all, it's the image of the professional mother that uh, I have in mind. Now, let's say you've got um, Venus in your 10th house. Well, with Venus in the 10th house, Jesus, uh, first of all, let me tell you, you're very lucky to have the little benefic in the 10th. It means bosses are very likely to uh, like you and to enjoy your company. Um, it is also very likely that you might find love through work and uh, that you might start uh, romantic liaisons or affair uh, affairs with the uh, people that you meet through work. But Venus in general is uh, a planet that tells us where we enjoy ourselves and um, its, pla its placement in the natal chart tells us about an area where we um, we have fun, we uh, find a lot of pleasure in. So you might actually enjoy what you're doing for a living. Um, Venus in uh, the 10th can also indicate uh, very Venusian careers. So if we're thinking about Libra, for instance, because Venus rules Libra, we might think of a career in diplomacy or a career as a consultant, uh, as a couples uh, therapist, a career in mediation, um, a career that uh, basically brings opposing parties together and finds common ground but also a career in very Torian areas, such as design, um, such as um, the beauty industry, and anything that has to do with the arts industry, and anything that has an artistic and especially aesthetically pleasing side to it. Fashion, for instance. Yes, you can work in fashion as well. Um, now, let's say you've got Mercury in the 10th. Uh, from my experience, people who have Mercury in the 10th, Mercury is a planet of communication, and they're very likely to find themselves in a career that uh, either uh, involves writing, um, uh, sell sales, uh, business development. Um, they might be like a journalist. Uh, they might work uh, in media and advertising, in publishing, or a career that, invo that involves transportation because Mercury is also the ruler of uh, transportation. Um, you might find that your reputation is very much dependent on how smart other people um, see you uh, as, and that is probably the lasting impression that you want to make on them. Uh, you want to be remembered for being someone who is witty, who is smart, uh, who is uh, well-read, who is very learned. Now, if you've got Mars in the 10th, 
very Martian careers comes to come to mind. Uh, for instance, a career in the military, a career that involves sharp tools such as uh, surgery, a career that involves working with heat. Um, but it also means that you are very determined to um, succeed uh, in your professional life and in your career. Um, it's very likely that if you are an employee or if you have to follow someone, you will have fights with your boss or with the people who uh, take the lead. That is because you are meant to be a leader in your career and you are meant to forge your own path. So um, being an entrepreneur or having your own business is probably uh, the easiest uh, way out and the easiest way to succeed for those who have Mars in the 10th. Now, um, let's say you have Jupiter in the 10th. Again, very, very lucky and very beneficial placement. Uh, you might uh, go for a career that you love. Uh, very Jupiterian careers are in law. Um, traveling, a strong element of travel, you might actually succeed career-wise in a foreign land and in a foreign environment, so not in the place that you were born in. Um, you might also work in teaching and in university because these are all areas that are ruled by Jupiter. Politics is also very likely because your charisma is larger than life and people do remember you for it. Um, and people do listen to you and uh, they they see you as being generous, as being kind, as being um, someone who has uh, traveled a lot, someone who is very wise. So take advantage of that. Now with Saturn in the 10th house, you my friends have to work hard to achieve the type of success that you want to achieve career-wise. However, uh, Saturn is always a double-edged sword. Yes, it does put a lot of pressure and yes, it does mean that you are not going to turn into an overnight success career-wise, but it also means that you are very likely to be rewarded for the hard effort that and the hard work that you put into your uh, career and into climbing uh, the ladder. Saturnian um, Careers and Saturnian uh, occupations uh, come to mind. Architecture for one, uh, construction, um, being a manager and managing things and bring, bringing order to chaos and bringing structure to chaos is something that you are very well uh, suited for. And it might uh, seem that uh, you have to obey the rules and you have to abide by the laws in order to succeed in this lifetime. Even your um, impression of your mother and the way you perceived her when, uh, when you were young might have been a, of someone who was very st stern, very calculated, um, very demanding, and you had to obey in order to be appreciated. So that might uh, translate into how you see um, your chances of achieving career success uh, pan out in this lifetime. Now, let's say you have Uranus in the 10th house. I love it. I know someone who has Uranus in the 10th house. Uh, I've only met them recently. And they are a spatial engineer. And this person is actually learning right now. Uh, he's studying astrology, so they have like such a wide... Uh, people who have Uranus in the 10th have such a wide range of interests. And uh, sudden career changes can be the norm here. Um, it's very likely that you want to be remembered um, and you want your reputation to be associated with uh, that of someone who has helped humanity progress and has left something radical and different but much, much better behind. So for instance, Karl Marx had uh, Uranus in the 10th, and uh, we all know how, uh, how impactful communism was uh, on the rest of the world and how impactful his theories were on the rest of the world. Um, Uranus in the 10th can also go for a very um, out of the box uh, type of career and um, it's also very likely that um, they're going to forge their own path and their own road uh, from a professional point of view in uh, this lifetime. Now let's say you have Neptune there. Um, people who have Neptune in the 10th house might be revered, 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 I don't know the right pronunciation, sorry guys, um, as heroes and uh, almost as martyrs. So uh, Jeff Kennedy had uh, Neptune in the 10th house and we all know what happened to him. Um, he is still in the minds of Americans, of many Americans, 
a national uh, hero because he wanted to do things differently and he had a vision and he was inspired and uh, he's dead now. Uh, <laughs> Neptune in the 10th can also struggle and can be a bit confused to start with uh, as to what uh, professional pathway they should take. But as long as they choose a pathway that helps them have a positive impact upon other people's lives and that can help them inspire other people's lives they are well on their tracks of achieving success musicians have neptune in the 10th uh actors have neptune in the 10th there is a glamorous quality about neptune in the 10th and uh there is almost like an illusion associated with uh, this placement uh that uh makes the person seem out of this world and intangible and very dreamy now let's say you have pluto in the 10th house well, um, you might uh, not have the best experience with bosses in this lifetime and you might find authority being very oppressive and uh, that's why you might strive to be in control of your uh, professional career. Um, Plutonian careers are very, very possible with this placement. I'm talking about strategists, I'm talking about politicians, that's because they are in control of things. Um, detectives, anything that uh, requires digging from underneath many, many layers, um, information and digging out the truth is um, very possible with this uh, particular placement. <laughs> now. If you don't have any planets in the 10th house, then look at the sign that is on the cusp of your 10th house and listen to uh, the planet that governs that sign. So let's say you've got Scorpio on uh, the midheaven and on the cusp of the 10th, um, but you don't have any planets there, then you should listen to the part where I talk about Pluto. Let's say you have Aries on uh, the cusp of the 10th, then listen to the part where I talk about having Mars in uh, the 10th house. So. Guys, let me know if you've got any questions about 10th House Matters. And also, don't forget to join my Facebook group. It's called Written in the Stars Community, and I have linked it in the description box down below for day-to-day -day conversations. And also, please feel free to start topics on there because we've got loads of people who are looking to chime in and uh, who've got their own experiences and opinions. And yeah, let's just bring people together and uh, make Written in the Stars the global community that it is meant to be. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.